super often. That's I think some some dominance. That's that's showing that you're here to play. You know the thing is though, we were talking about how oh on paper this should be really good for Pokemon Trainer. But if there's one thing about Alucario, paper is is not legal tender. Yeah. Doesn't matter how good your matchup is, sometimes it just it doesn't work. I mean, how is any matchup good if you die at 40? Exactly. Yeah. He's one of those characters that just. You never feel safe. You're never like, oh, yes, I can find Lucario. Oh, I'm fine. I, I won't feel scared. You'll always feel scared versus this character, even though they are not as dominant as they were in 4. I mean, also, one thing about this character versus you know him in 4, he's, his movement is so crisp. I genuinely think that Lucario has the crispest movement in the game. Yeah, there's definitely going to be an argument for that. And catching him dropping shield, I think, that up yeah. smash is going to be ending his stock, which is a huge relief. When you take a Lucario stock, especially when it's relatively low percent like that, you're just happy. You're like, finally, I can play the game without... <laughs> Squirtle's so tiny. Oh, wow. and Squirtle's so tiny. Exploded. Yeah, um, a situation like that is really where you want to be. It's uh, kind of a bummer for Bankai. They got caught with that back, because that could have been a huge lead extension. Great, great DI from VV, knowing that that could potentially have been the stock. Oh, great job catching him. That is actually something I've seen a lot of players in general do against VV. That neutral air, falling neutral air, is a really good tool for, you know, pretty safe and opens things up. But it's pretty telegraphed, so opponents can just go, like, pivot grab or... Run away, forward smash, anything like that. And I actually missed that stock. Yeah. Was that an up smash? It was an up smash, which is not a move you see often. Even though it's extremely powerful, it was also is extremely slow. Is it the strongest slow. up smash in the game? I believe so. Uh, that's what I've heard. But um, getting a roll read right there with Ivysaur's up smash, that took the stock at a pretty early percent, especially for Lucario. I don't think he should be Squirtle for very long. We were, do you remember what happened last time you were yeah. Squirtle when he had a stock lead? Right now, 69 isn't too scary, but um, once you get your damage, you should definitely get out of there. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, maybe he wants to get what I was talking about. He wants to go forward and forward and up the off stage. I respect the attempt, but yeah, he's going to get out of there with Ivysaur. And now this is scary for Lucario because one more up there and he's at kill percent. And now this is even scarier for him. Yeah. I mean, back, if he gets side B. Yeah, side B, back throw bear can put him in a really bad spot. Oh, went for that roll. The, re the, roll on, the read on the roll in. And BB did not give it to him very smartly. And now, this, once again, is not out of the woods. Like, it's Lucario. Now it's pretty now much it's out okay. of the woods. There we go. A bit of a commentator's curse there, but it's okay. It's not a commentator's curse. I'm setting the audience up for all expectations. It's true. It's true. Because, yeah, it really is the case. If BB took that stock there, that was scary. 100% Lucario. You can just... Um, you can die really quickly. Oh, one, yeah. one combo into a back air, and that's the stock. And I mean, we haven't really seen any super hard reads, like a forward smash or anything, connect yet. But the fo like cardio forward smash wins sets. Yeah, it's I'm. It can kill. It's game so swinging. Ridiculously it really early. Is. It's it's quite insane. I've I've died like mid stage at 40. Okay, so like, and I'm just like, wow, Lucario is crazy. So yeah, um, he needs some of that Lucario magic for this next game. Um, oh, maybe he's not actually. Or no, he's he's pondering this. He's really thinking about it. Do you think we're gonna see the Incineroar? I have seen this Incineroar do some pretty good work. I don't necessarily. And there it is. Actually, he's gonna be busting him out. Uh, a character similar to Lucario in that he kills you at 40 sometimes, uh, but doesn't have to worry about. The fact that, you know, Pokemon Trainer's kill power is so consistent. Yeah, it's, um, I think Incineroar is actually a really solid character to have as a pocket. Just because, um, some matchups just completely oppress him. So if you solo main him, it can be really bad. But, um, in situations like this, bringing him out can actually just mix up the opponent a lot. Because of how many interesting and unique options Incineroar has with the revenge and the side B. Oh, but maybe yeah. uh, we're hoping. Well, okay. Incineroar took 70. That's just normal for Incineroar. That's that's, that's step one. Yeah. <laughs> step one takes 70%. Step two, question mark. Step three, revenge. Ooh. Not sure what that up air was from BB because he did a falling up air, which just let Ivysaur get the freest up air. And now this is going to be another 70, most likely. 
Looks like instead of going to 70, he wants to make it an edge guard, which ends up leading to 70 anyway. And now he's on Ivy, and this might be a rinse and repeat unless he gets something. Yeah, he counterpicked to the stage, which is interesting just because of the fact that Ivy sort of up there and Incineroar is a character that already struggles to land. Yeah, I also don't know what Incineroar really benefits from the stage either. Like, I guess pressuring people on landing, but as a character as slow as Incineroar, it can be really hard if a Bonka decides to camp him out. Like, I don't know what he's going to do. Ooh, but look at that micro spacing. Maybe he's starting to find his footing finally. If he can close out this stock, which there he does, go. now this is not an unreasonable position. Like, this is one revenge side beat to even. Oh, never mind. All right, yeah, great job there. You mentioned it before. Squirtle can sometimes get those kills. F tilt, miss attack. Yeah, you're dead. Yeah, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a gimmick, but um, it's a good one. You know, it, it may be a gimmick, but um, it works really effectively if you catch the opponent off guard. I think it's not really that much of a gimmick because like. What risk is involved? It's true. It's, it's Squirtle F tilt. That move is, is okay. I guess it was more reading the actual tech option there. Oh That's my it. god! Wow, actually managing to find. I mean, I understand oh. downer's hitbox is big, but that was still impressive. Yeah, that was that was the smartest that I've been down there I've seen in a while. Usually that move. Um, <laughs> I would not describe it as smart. Yeah, but right there, that was really clever of him. Uh, instead of just waiting for him to land or trying to like edge guard, he knew that because of the ridiculous hitbox, he can actually be sideways of him and still get that spike. And yeah, that's gonna be pretty quick too. Well.